Okay, so here's our next project. Obviously a dump truck. And this should be fun. Let's uh, get started by creating a new design. And let's start by creating the cab. I'll start with this basic block shape. This will actually be the bed. So let's call that eight millimeters high. And 55 millimeters wide. I want something with kind of those proportions, so let's say 135 millimeters long. It's a good start. Now we want to put the cab on top of the frame here. And we could do like we did with the Pinewood Derby car and measure, you know, put the ruler down and figure out how tall this is and then place the, the next box uh, that height above the uh, work plane there. But there is an easier way, and this is a new thing. If you press the W key, that brings up the work plane uh, editor and you click on where you'd like the work plane to go. So we're gonna put it on top of that uh, bed. Now when I drag out another box, it's going to appear above our bed. Okay, so now that it's placed in the right height, I can return the work plane to its normal space by pressing W and clicking anywhere in the, in the blank space not on an object. So this is 135, or I'm sorry, 55 millimeters wide. So we want this also to be 55 millimeters wide. And align it. and then align it on the end. So we aligned it in the middle and now we're aligning it on the end in this direction. So this is gonna be where the engine would go. And let's call that eighteen millimeters high looks good to me. And then let's bring this back oops let's bring that back 46 millimeters and then we need the cab part so I'm gonna press W again and put that on top of the new piece so we've got the work plane up there and we'll bring this out. I know it's 55 millimeters wide. And I'm going to group those two pieces because I know they're in the right spot. And then I can align this new piece. probably be a good idea to ungroup this then align these pieces along the back edge group those then align the remaining pieces along this front edge
and then group that too. Return the work plane, pressing W and clicking on the, any of the blank space. So there we're making some headway. Good progress there. Now we need to add a windshield. For that I'm going to bring in a wedge. I'm going to want that right on that work plane. So we'll bring that out. Rotate it around 180 degrees. Let's make this 55 millimeters wide. And then align it in the middle here. And then we need to nudge this in. Now here's also another new thing, nudging. So looking at it from the side here, I want to move it just precisely. So I'm going to move down here to uh, snap grid. And I'm going to change this down to 0.25. Now with the arrows, arrow keys, I can press the left, I'm sorry, the right arrow button and move it in towards the cab. I'll make sure I don't have any gap. Okay, and then I'm going to shorten that up so that it's more of a windshield looking. Alright, now we want a little slight slope to the hood here. While I have the work plane still there, I'm going to bring out another wedge. I'm going to make it 55 millimeters wide. Let me return this back to one millimeter. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. And then shorten that. We just need a slight slight curve on or a slight uh, angle on that. Let me align all of this and down the middle, make sure we're where we need to be. And then I'm going to shorten this. All right. Not looking too bad there, huh? Okay, so I have my cab done. Let me group it. And this is going to be a yellow dump truck, so change it to the yellow color. And that's good for now. We'll come back and do the bucket uh, later. So go ahead and give this a try. Uh, if you think it should look a little bit different, be my guest. Go ahead and uh, use your best judgment. It's going to be your dump truck. Just make uh, make this shape with the long back uh, blank area where the dump truck part can go. And uh, make sure you have some sort of cab place for the driver to sit. Okay? Awesome. Have fun.